The NFL already released the who and the where, but now on Tuesday they released the what and the when to the 2009 NFL schedule. Hey, how are you folks? Jason Horwitz, glad to be with you here on CBSSports.com. Let's bring in our NFL columnist Clark Judge uh, to break all this down. And Clark, before we even get into any specific games or uh, anything of that nature, when did this oh, happenstance occurrence become an event? <laughs> I think when they invented the NFL Network, Jason, it's a, it's an odd, odd thing because it's basically like a uh, uh, national holiday now, the way they treat it. It's very difficult to get this information. It's like getting the Pentagon Papers from the NFL. They don't want to give it up until prime time, and they put it on the NFL Network. But I think it's the, the, uh, the, the coming of the NFL Network uh, kind of coincided with the, this being treated as state secrets. Uh, Clark, obviously because of that, that means things get broken down more and people, mm -hmm. get, you know, everything gets scrutinized a little bit more. But uh, do you think too much is made here in in April of who has the yeah. quote-unquote easiest and toughest schedule in September through the Ab rest of the season? Absolutely, no question about it, because you don't know who's going to be good and who's not going to be good. We're basing it on last year, and, and keep in mind, Jason, look at last year, for instance, and I would have told you Seattle is going to be a good ball club. Uh, I would have told you Baltimore probably is not going to be good because they're going to struggle. Um, you look at teams like Cleveland was supposed to be at or near the top of his division. Well, as we know now, that wasn't the case. Baltimore is very good. Seattle wasn't. Cleveland stunk. And so I, I think we read in everything on last last year's record but as we know now teams change overnight and, and that's happened uh, pretty regularly in recent years and, and one of those teams Clark having said all that is the Chicago Bears mm -hmm. now having a what they think is a franchise quarterback in Jay Cutler but you look at uh, what in, at least by the 2008 records who has the easiest 2009 schedule and there you see the Bears with the easiest schedule yeah, and again, I I don't want to make a lot of that because you don't know, you know, are the the Lions aren't going to be zero and sixteen again, but that's figured into that schedule because they have to play them twice, so that pumps up any team in that division. But they're not going to be that bad again. I don't know how bad they are going to be, but you're from Detroit, you can tell me they're going to be better. Um, <laughs> but um, that that's the problem with this. It's all based on what happened a year ago, and I'll tell you, under Jim Schwartz, the Lions will be better and they'll be competitive. Yeah, and as you said, at the uh, teams in the NFC North have the thirty second, thirty first, and thirtieth in terms. Of uh, most difficult schedules by 2008 winning percentage, so you're dead on about that. Let's talk about the Pittsburgh Steelers, Clark, because uh, you know, in terms of again, last year's uh, schedule and last year's record, they have what it would be considered an easy schedule but there are some fun games that, to watch for and it starts early when they play the Chicago Bears. Yeah I mean I, I think the Steelers would be an interesting team to see in week four they've got San Diego at home that's a game I'd like to see as well but um, again you know when you look at them people say how do they get that schedule well it's according to a format that's been put in a long long time ago so they simply run into teams that fit in that format plus again they had two bad teams in that division that's Cleveland and Cincinnati there's four games of their schedule. All right Clark let's take a look at some other early games that uh, could be fun to watch uh, in the early part and uh, you know you talk about teams that, that could be fun you've got New Orleans and, and Drew Brees in that offense and they go to Buffalo uh, mm -hmm. early on in the season and take on T.O. We knew about the other games Philadelphia New Orleans could be fun uh, when you think about all that Atlanta at, at New England is there one game maybe that, that gets you really excited early part of the season? Well, I, I think certainly the uh, uh, first game in New England does because it's Tom Brady coming back, and it's, and it's Terrell Owens in New England. Not so much Terrell Owens, but, you know, we see him in a new uniform, and I think people are looking for him to do something uh, on the field, off the field, whatever. But most especially, I'm looking at Tom Brady. I want to see what he's like in his first game back, and, yeah, that one certainly piques my interest. Um, and in the second game, you know, second week, you, you've got Dallas at home opening that new stadium. I want to see that one as well. And that, of course, will be prime time. Dallas has got six big-time games. The Bears have five uh, primetime games, uh, so all that uh, should be fun to watch. Clark Judge, thank you very much, sir. Uh, now that we got the schedule out of the way, we can talk NFL draft next week. We'll talk to you soon. Yeah, looking forward to it, Jason. Thanks. All right, folks, for more on the schedule, Clark's 10 games not to watch, Pete Prisco's 10 games you have to watch. Be sure to read about those here on CBSSports.com. For Clark Judge, I'm Jason Horowitz. Take care, folks.